Hey Nutbags, Jody B here, back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jody B. I'm a registered dietitian and nutritionist, and this channel is all about making nutrition easy. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me a comment below and let me know that you made it into this video. Today's video, we're going to be making some excellent shrimp tacos. It's gonna be jerk shrimp topped with a mango salsa, and on top of that, we're gonna be doing some bits of fried plantains. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. Let's get into the kitchen. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the mango salsa. You're gonna need one ripe mango, not too soft, um, half of a yellow onion, two limes, a juice of two limes, a bunch of cilantro, you can use less if you like, and then two plum tomatoes. So we make this first because we want it to sit and get nice and juicy in the fridge. So first we're gonna cut our mango. Here I cut into the seed a little bit, but I will just remove that. So you'll see the black bit in the middle. That's a part of the seed. A lot of people struggle to cut um, mangoes. The best way to do it is to cut off the two ends and just to kind of score, slice, as I'm doing here and then dice it that way. That's the easiest way to cut into a mango if you need to um, get the flesh out from the skin. So we're just going to um, dice that into a nice size and then we're gonna go ahead and dice up our onions as well. So I have to be honest with you guys, no cap, no lie, whatever you want to call it. These are the best shrimp tacos I have ever, 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 ever had in my life. And I really hope you try this recipe because it's really so good. So here I'm dicing up the onions really finely. And then you want to add that into your mangoes. Next, we're gonna dice up our tomatoes. And the really good thing about this manga salsa is one, when you put it down in the fridge, the longer it stays is the better it tastes. You can eat it by itself, or you can use this as a topping for fish, for salmon, for chicken. It's really good as a dip just with um, tortilla chips. So this mango salsa recipe by itself is a real winner. Here I'm chopping up my cilantro. You can use as much or as little cilantro as you like. Um, and then here I'm putting in some lemon juice. It's a juice of two lemons. And then I'm gonna season with just a little bit of salt and a little pepper. That's all you need. You mix this up and then you cover it, put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. It is so, so good, really, really good. This is what it looks like. Look how pretty that looks. So beautiful. Now we're gonna move on to our plantains that we're going to put on top of our shrimp tacos. Um, if you don't know how to open the um, plantains, you just put a slice in the corner of the plantain and then you just peel the skin off. Now, I, I didn't want big pieces of plantains like we traditionally do. So I wanted to cut it in smaller slices and then make like little bits, tidbits of plantain that I could just sprinkle on top of my tacos. So this is what I'm doing. I cut it in half and then cut it in half again. And then here we're gonna go ahead and fry them up. You don't need a lot of oil um, and you don't wanna put too many in the pot at one time. You wanna give it space so that it gets nice and golden brown. These are gonna be nice and crisp and nice and sweet and a great, great topping to your shrimp top coat. So here we have them nice and golden. And we're gonna take these out and put it in some paper towel just to get that excess oil off. But this is pretty much it. These are gonna be so, so good on top of our shrimp tacos. Okay, last but not least, I have some large white shrimp. Um, I washed it with some vinegar and water, and then now we're gonna season them up. I did put a little olive oil just to get it moist. In this, I have some jerk seasoning, one tablespoon 
of jerk seasoning. I have some salt, some garlic powder, some black pepper, and some paprika for a little color. This is the pan that I told you guys about. I will link it below. This is a pan that I've been using for everything right now. It's just so lightweight, so easy to use. You want to get your pan nice and hot and then put in your oil, your olive oil, uh, vegetable oil, whatever you're using. And then we're going to just brown or shrimp up. Um, I did want to mention about the jerk seasoning. I did use a dry jerk seasoning just because I didn't want it to be wet when I put these in. I want it to be more like a grilled shrimp without the grill marks. And these really don't take long. You don't want to cook them more than two to three minutes per side. Um, so here I'm turning it over. You see it has that nice golden brown color that I'm looking for. Um, as I said before, only two to three minutes. You don't want to overcook them. Then they're going to get really chewy or rubbery. And we do not want chewy or rubbery shrimp. We want our shrimp to be nice and plump and juicy. So here we have our shrimp nice and done. We want to remove this from the stove. We want it not to cook anymore. Okay, so I'm warming up my tortillas and then we are going to assemble. It is time to eat. All right, so we warmed up the tortillas a little bit and then I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put some romaine lettuce down as well. That's just for some crunch or some color and then some extra nutrition as well. So we're putting the romaine lettuce down and then we're gonna put our shrimp. I'm gonna do four shrimp on each taco. They're pretty big, so they can only fit about four, which is a nice um, serving, I think. And then we're gonna put that delicious mango salsa on top. Look at that, all the colors, the sweetness of the mango, the cilantro, and then you have the lime to counteract that, um, the spicy shrimp, so, so good. And then we're gonna top it with the plantains, the crisp and sweet plantains. This is so good, guys. I cannot wait for you to try this. This is so, so good. I cannot say enough how good this is. And if that's not good enough, we are going to top it with some avocado. Oh my God. This is so good. Look at that. I'm just going to squeeze a little lemon juice on top and we are done. I did put a little bit of some scallions on top, some green onions. You don't have to do that, but I like the scallions on top. And this is what we're looking like. Look at that delicious this is another look if you liked this video guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new thank you so much for watching see you later